Hey everyone, for Tricomes.com, I'm Ashley Manning, and this is Careers in Cannabis. On this show, we sit down with staffing agencies, cannabis companies, and other industry professionals to discuss employment opportunities in the burgeoning cannabis industry. Cannabis companies are now back in full swing hiring after layoffs and budget cuts due to the pandemic. And now that New York, New Mexico, and New Jersey have passed recreational cannabis sales, that means plenty of upcoming careers in cannabis. But what jobs are in high demand now? Today's guest is working with some of the industry's hottest brands like Acreage and Terra Ascent. And she's here to share with us some of the current hot job openings in the cannabis industry. On this episode, we talk with Liesl Bernard, the founder and CEO of the staffing agency Cannabis Team and Cannabis Team Temp. Hey, Liesl, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to have you here again, uh, and uh, I'd, lo- I'd like to just get right into the interview. And for those who haven't had the opportunity to hear your previous interview on careers in cannabis, if you could share with our audience who Cannabis Team is and Cannabis Temp is, that would be great. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, cannabis Team is an executive search and staffing firm focused exclusively in the cannabis industry. Um, we started the company back in 2016, so I feel like we've been in the industry for years and years, um, even though it's been only four years. Um, we are now the one of the uh, world's largest executive search and staffing firms, and we place talent in all verticals, all the way from cultivation, um, extraction, testing, manufacturing, retail, um, and a lot of C-suite positions as well. Um, in 2019, uh, we also launched Cannabis Temp, um, and Cannabis Temp now places temps um, at a high volume um, in all verticals as well. Um, but we also do a lot of, um, you know, uh, uh, positions that, you know, uh, kind of our clients use for packaging tax, warehouse tax, manufacturing tax. So um, high volume business on a temporary basis as well. Awesome. Uh, does that also include, uh, you, you covered plant touching ancillary companies as well? Yes, we work with any company um, related to the cannabis industry. So um, if you're a service provider as well, we, we work with all of those companies too. Awesome. Great, great. Um, are, are you able to share with us some of the clients that you represent, as being that you guys are one of the largest staffing firms out oh, there? Oh, you know, it'll take me a while to list all of our clients, but we work with a lot of the <laughs> multi-state operators, um, you know, including TerraSend, um, Acreage Holdings, you know, Candescent, Harborside, um, and then obviously a lot of the smaller players as well. Um, so it's a fast-growing industry, and we're continually adding new clients to our, uh, to our portfolio. Perfect. I only anticipate that <laughs> your portfolio to grow even more from here here on forward. So in terms of your portfolio growing, you know, we have New York that just legalized New Mexico and New Jersey is cannabis also ramping up your own efforts for to, to be able to um, absolutely for all the demand that is about to come up. Yes, absolutely. We, it, um, you mentioned we uh, our New Jersey office um, uh, earlier this month. So really excited to have a full time presence um, in New Jersey. And that'll also cover New York. Um, we already have a Boston office, um, also Michigan, Colorado, um, California. So we are a pretty wide footprint across the U.S. now. Holy smokes. I didn't know you guys were in all those states. Yeah. <laughs> um, I must have missed that on the last interview, but congratulations yeah. on opening up a, another location uh, because it's going to be needed. I I think the end of this year, recruiting companies, I think I'm going to be double booking my shows to make sure we get out there <laughs> all the opportunities that are yeah, available. It's definitely, definitely. Um, so that brings me into for sure. So that that brings me into leading into the uh, main reason I want to have you here is to talk about some of the hot opportunities that are available to cannabis, to, to any any career seeker, not just people in cannabis. Uh, so what, what are those hot jobs that you guys have? You know, there are so many jobs in the cannabis industry, which makes it really, really exciting. If you think about the whole life cycle of the plant, you know, from the moment it gets planted into the soil, um, to getting harvested and then, you know, uh, extracted and then testing all the way to manufacturing and then retail. There are so many different positions um, that, you know, that people can enter the market in from. Um, obviously, cultivation is a very hot uh, part of the industry right now. A lot of states are adding grow facilities and, and scaling up on grow facilities. So we're 
constantly recruiting people with big ag experience or people that have previous grow experience. Um, and then the science part of it is, is fascinating. And we're adding new positions in extraction and testing and formulating new products. Um, and then manufacturing, you know, because it's still not legal to transfer product intrastate, you know, all of our states have to, you know, work in silos. So there's so many positions within each state in all these verticals that, um, that we constantly recruit for. And we're pulling from a lot of different industries in order to find the talent for our clients because there's not a lot of people with cannabis experience yet. Um, I always say that one year in cannabis is equal to, you know, five or six years in any other industry. So um, any, you know, experience in the industry is highly valued right now. Wow, that I like hearing that <laughs> statistic. <laughs> it feels like I feels like working in cannabis. Uh, it it I can agree with you. One year is about five years. Um, so that that was one of my questions. Was you know, is cannabis industry? It's preferred, um, but it's not typically required. Definitely right? not. No, you know, I I think obviously because the industry is so young, there's a very small candidate pool that actually have um, experience in the industry. Um, so we're pulling from a lot of industries like the food and wine industry, um, you know, manufacturing, cosmetics, um, you know, pharmaceutical industry. And then obviously retail, we're pulling people from big box retail in order to fill multi-state operator uh, retail positions. So we're pulling from all related industries in order to fill these positions that we have with our clients. That's great. Uh, are you noticing a, an influx now of other industries due to the pandemic of other people applying into the cannabis industry? Or is it kind of balanced out? People in yeah. the industry are looking to advance. You no, know, I think my team others and I are looking to get in. Very, very fortunate. Sorry, I think you cut out there. I didn't hear the last part of your, um, your question. Um, but um, I think I got the gist of it. Um, you know, I think we feel very, very fortunate in a time like this to be able to help people, you know, find new careers and maybe even pivot into a new industry. So um, definitely, you know, I think four years ago, five years ago, when we started Cannabis Team, um, cannabis was still considered a little bit taboo. There was a stigma to working in the industry. Um, but we've come such a long way where, where to, you know, then we had to sort of beg people to give cannabis a chance and assure them that they're not going to go to jail or lose their CPA or, or legal license. Um, where today it's become the sexy industry and everyone wants to work in cannabis. So we're really inundated with a lot of people that are curious about working in the industry and, and applying for jobs. So it's, uh, it's come a long way. Absolutely. Do you have any uh, predictions on how many jobs you think will be available in, in the next couple of years? I think right now we're at uh, 250,000, somewhere around yeah, that. I, I could be wrong. Still, uh, you're the expert in yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think the numbers are always constantly changing. Um, I think the last uh, statistic I heard that there was about 320,000 jobs now in the industry. And with New York legalizing um, in the last couple of weeks, they're predicting just in New York State alone, about 60,000 jobs will be created you know, over the next three years. So, um, you know, I heard a stat earlier this week that the cannabis industry now employs more people than the mining industry. So um, it's really gone from zero to 80 in, uh, in no time. And uh, it's definitely the biggest um, job growth market right now. Yeah, I think it's going to save our economy and hopefully uh, the, the regulators will get that memo as well and, and push forward because once it's legalized uh, federally or just, you know, even if it's on a, all 50 states, uh, just more job creation, tax revenue for them. It's just it's a great opportunity they're missing out on. Um, on to New York and New Jersey, these new states that came on board, roughly how long after they come on board? do they start actually building out facilities to actually start hiring in those states? Is it a few months? Is it a year? For those who might live in New York, New Jersey? You know, I think it's happening very quickly. Um, obviously, uh, uh, people that are getting, that have acquired licenses are starting to prepare for um, setting up infrastructure and hiring employees very quickly. You know, we already have some of our multi-state operators that um, have hired people in, in those states and are, are gearing up to, um, you know, service that market. So, you know, it's, it's almost immediate. I think from, you know, obviously cultivating um, actual, the actual product and the plant and manufacturing, we're probably still a year or so out from that. But 
Um, you know, I think a lot of people have learned from getting licenses in other state how to do it efficiently and effectively. So I see those states ramping up very quickly. Awesome. That's uh, great information for people who are like, okay, it's legal. Now, where do I apply for jobs in New York and New Jersey? So uh, it's good info to have. Um, so why should somebody use a cannabis, uh, use cannabis specifically um, in their job search in cannabis? Um, you know, I think there are what what I, as as we talked earlier, um, finding the right talent um, in the cannabis industry today is tough because there is not a huge can candidate pool with the right you know skill set and experience and the right resume to perfectly match a job that you know that's open today. So um, working with a staffing firm um, helps a lot because we have the ability to really assess whether someone has the transferable skills to be effective in the cannabis industry not just for skills and experience and education, but um, the cannabis industry has its own culture, right? And it's definitely not an industry that everyone can work in successfully. Um, right now, even though it's, you know, a lot of these MSOs are becoming billion dollar companies and growing very quickly, a lot of them are still, um, you know, in sort of a startup phase. And we're looking for people that have the mindset and experience to adapt um, and uh, work in an environment where there's not a lot of infrastructure um, and policies and procedures set up and also things change on a dime. So, you know, we're recruiting for people with the right skills and experience, but more so people that have the ability to adapt and grow and can thrive in a somewhat chaotic, fast changing environment. Um, and that's what, you know, I think that's one of the benefits of working with a staffing firm is because we interview you know, hundreds of candidates every week to assess whether they have the right skill set and experience to work in this industry. Um, and, you know, our, our candidate database now has hundreds of thousands of candidates in it that we've screened over the last five years. So um, I think it's helpful, you know, because we can get closer to the mark quicker. And I think a lot of companies are inundated with um, people that are applying for jobs now. So Every single time you post a job, you're going to get hundreds of candidates, or maybe even thousands of times that you have to sift through in order to make sure, um, you know, that you find the people that you're looking for, and that's super time-consuming. So I think from a time perspective, it's always helpful to work with a staffing firm, and I think you can focus on your business versus, um, you know, taking the time to screen so many candidates. I. I completely agree. I don't think any CEO has time to <laughs> sift through resumes. And sometimes the CEO is is wearing 10 hats. So it's not possible. It's not it's not sustainable. So I agree. If you're looking to get into the cannabis industry, utilize staffing firms uh, for sure. And you're spot on with saying chaotic. <laughs> this industry, uh, being that it is in startup, and there's so many hurdles we have to go over. Every task we have to do falls under regulations. And so it, it's not just, oh, just get that task done. It's get that task done and figure out those other tasks in between to complete that task, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, and it's such a race. <laughs> um, right so having someone who can adapt to that is is crucial as a team member. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I was going to add, it, there's such a race, you know, for cannabis companies now to establish their branding and their shelf space and to, you know, be positioned for it when it does go legal. So it's... um. It's a very fast-paced environment um, today in, in, in all states, I think. It makes it exciting when it's fast-paced, I think, a little bit. It's... Uh... It, it just feels like I'm we're getting somewhere we're making progress we're making progress and soon our little baby will grow up and we'll see it all together so um one question I do always like to ask my guests is what would be some big sister advice you would give to someone who is on the fence about getting a career in cannabis um you know I think uh this is a once once in a lifetime opportunity that we're all facing, you know, with where the cannabis industry is today. Um, I don't think in our lifetime we'll experience another industry that'll grow this quickly and this fast. Um, so if you're curious about it, you know, definitely look into it sooner than later because you don't want to miss an opportunity if you feel you're suited for, for this industry. Um, at the same time, if, you know, if you do like structure and you do like things to be certain um this is probably not the right industry industry for you so i think a lot of self-reflection needs to go um you know needs to happen before you jump into this industry because it is 
not for the faint of heart, but um, it is definitely you know an exciting place to be if you have an entrepreneurial mindset and you want to try something new and when you want to contribute to an environment that you probably will have an opportunity to do so. So you can still be a, a big fish in, the, in, in a fairly small mm -hmm. pond today um, in the cannabis industry, but I don't see that you know in the same place in the next five to 10 years. hundred percent agree with you that you, you've spoken everything very well today, uh, given some great insights and some opportunities. Uh, so the last question I have is, uh, after everything you've shared with us, where, where can our listeners go to find these open positions that you guys have? Our website is cannabisteam.com, cannabis with a Z, team.com. Um, we list uh, most of our open jobs um, on our uh, job board. Um, so if you're looking for a job, that's a great place to start. Um, and if you're a client looking to hire uh, talent uh, in the same place, um, or you can reach me on LinkedIn, just at Lisa Bernard. Um, but yeah, easy to find. We also have a LinkedIn page, um, Instagram, and and Facebook. Oh, well, that is uh, all great information that you've shared with us today. And uh, I appreciate your time. And I do look forward to bringing you back on, and especially once things really start ramping up and we can just one one by one, job by job, what, what they're looking for. But I don't anticipate there even being enough time to record and get those jobs out there and is how fast they're going to go once it really starts picking up pace. Uh, would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely exciting, um, a little bit overwhelming, but, um, you know, I think our team, um, is spectacular and we have the ability to act very quickly and, um, really service our clients and our candidates very well. So I would love to talk to anyone that's interested in getting to, into the industry. Great. And I hope, I hope we can get that message out there to as many people as possible to, to work with you guys. Yeah. So I appreciate you today and I will chat with you soon. Go ahead and stay on the line for me if you don't mind. Yeah. Thank you for your great work, Ashley. I love um, awesome. your podcast and what you're contributing to the industry as well. Very refreshing. Thank you. I, it's part of my personal and professional mission. So uh, here I am doing something uncomfortable in this industry. Uh, something also some some big sister advice to those looking to have a career in cannabis. Absolutely. Don't be afraid of the tasks that will be ahead of you. <laughs> I love Don't it. Don't be now. shy. All right, Lisa. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. My thanks again to Lisa Bernard for being my guest on today's episode. You can follow our series Careers in Cannabis as well as more great shows like this one at trichomes.com. If you're a member of the cannabis community and you have a story you want to share with us, please reach out. You can reach the show by emailing careersincannabis at trichomes.com. Please take a second to subscribe to the podcast and write a review. It really helps others to find the show. You can also join in the discussion with industry insiders by visiting trichomes.com and following us on all social media. For trichomes.com, I'm Ashley Manning. Thank you for listening and be well.